for fun between uh, <laughs> between you two. Um, starting with you talking about the, the real estate that you felt you all were taking up in their heads. Tell me what you were thinking about when you put that tweet out. Um, I just felt like, you know, if I won a championship, I wasn't thinking about, you know, no other team or what somebody said months ago. I'm going to be, you know, celebrating a championship. I'm going to be, you know, happy with my teammates. But as you see, after they won the championship, everything was Grizzlies playing whoop that trick on their parade, showing it in the club, um, talking about Jaren, this and that. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, when you win, you know, you can say anything. But I lost, and I'm going to still be Jai at the end of the day. So. Yeah. But it, it's... Social media, you know, they blew it up. Like, is it beef? Is it a rivalry? But no, like, those guys can tell you, uh, even after, you know, we lost in the series that, you know, I told them, I feel like, you know, it's time, you know, for y'all to get another ring, um, you know, through Steph, Clay, and Draymond as well. And then they said the same, like, you know, y'all be back. You know, we'll see y'all again. It'll be a lot of fun for years to come. But mm -hmm. we all competitors at the end of the day. We all battling, you know, in this league to, you know, be the best we can be and to win championships and and that's what comes with it so um yeah <laughs> yeah so you're saying after that series you knew like you said to Steph and them you're like it's time for y'all to come and get that uh for sure um honestly I felt like you know coming out of that series whoever you know it was was the favorite you know uh to win the championship and you know with Golden State you know they've been you know a dominant team for years and you know now having their you know three core guys back um and battling with us you know you you definitely can see that experience definitely comes into play um i actually was you know a fan of the celtics as well um so i that series i didn't pick nobody to win i was just like <laughs> man i want game seven whoever wins wins i'm a big fan of tatum uh you know i was actually dm dming him as well you know congratulate him on the wins and like you know uh, we're young, so, you know, it's definitely, you know, um, times where, you know, you know, the league is in good hands with, you know, the young core, uh, pretty much. So I was congratulating him and, you know, kind of hoping, you know, he, he definitely, you know, won him a championship, you know, to start it for this, you know, younger generation. So. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about the Warriors series and just you all's matchups to come, I, it's obviously no beef. Anyone who says that is, is incorrect. Rivalry is maybe not the right word, but there is certainly like a little more edge for sure. to that matchup, and there always will be. Do you agree with that? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, okay. It's because it's, it's Golden State. Like, yeah. They've been dominant for years, won, you know, what, four championships? Um, I feel like, you know, when you got Golden State on the schedule, you know, you, you, you want to come out and play, and, you know, that's when you play your best, so you put a lot more into it, you know, playing them, um, you know, with the three main core guys, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, like no rivalry or anything. But um, I feel like I, I said it for years since I've been in the league. You know, that's my my favorite matchup for sure. Hey, I'm.